Howdy. So today I found out that I can get my kid out of quarantine. Whatever, what they thought was coronavirus is not. It was actually pneumonia, so everybody's been cleared and I get him back on Sunday. Um, and I'm very excited. I'm very excited and a little bit terrified because now I get him for two weeks to balance out um, custody. And I've never actually had him by myself for two weeks at home the whole time where I don't have to go to work or do anything. So it's going to be really, really fucking interesting. Um, and I'm going to have to, we're going grocery shopping this weekend before we get him. And there's, there's going to be a lot of, maybe I'm going to need this. So I should probably get this kind of buying. I don't sound excited. I am. I really, I'm excited to get my kid back. I am not excited for the like two weeks of, I don't know what the fuck to do with you because there's really not a whole lot to do with you. <sighs> That's going to happen. Um, but whatever, it is what it is. And we'll see if I end up keep, um, doing recordings during that because he's kind of an attention whore. Um. Well, actually, I probably will, and he's just gonna join me, and we're gonna chit chat the whole time, or he's gonna play, and I'm gonna, you're gonna get to listen to him doing whatever. I'm gonna have to really work on my editing skills. That's gonna be great. Um, so I was gonna take a look at a thing with you guys today, uh, but that is a on my phone thing, and I don't really want to putz with it so we're gonna not do that today it was gonna be small which is apparently a um like karaoke type thing one of my friends recommended it as they like this is really fun to do if you need something to do and like you like to sing or or whatever thing but I as as before as I said before, it's it's a app for your phone, um, not a thing I can do on the computer while I have my phone record it. Um, and I want to pots with it more before I even get into it. I didn't realize it was going to be such an in-depth experience. So maybe I'll put with that later when I'm done recording and get this video posted. Um, I have three views. Actually, I might have more now. I haven't looked today yet to see if yesterday got any. But as of yesterday, I had three views. And it was a little nerve-wracking. And I was kind of really glad at that point that I had not posted that other video. Because it was very... It's, it, it's one of those just, it's cringy. For me, it was cringy. Um... And maybe that's because it's me. And for me, a lot of things that I do are cringy. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Um, so, also, today, Onward is available on Disney Plus for anybody. It has Disney Plus. Oh, it's a gig about getting it. They're really sick. They're, they're, They've decided to release everything that was supposed to come out, like, in in this quarantine period. They've decided to just release it digitally early. So it was released for digital purchase or... I think you could rent it, probably. I don't really know. I didn't look at it. Because I have Disney Plus. Um, like a few weeks ago. And today it came out on Disney Plus. So I'm really excited. I'm going to watch it today. Keith has no choice. He's my boyfriend. I don't think I've actually used his name before. Probably haven't. I, it, it is a thing. Um, so yay. I get to watch that. He doesn't get a choice. We're going to have quesadillas for dinner. Um, 
which I have to get that chicken going so that it's actually like shreddy and pulley apart and delicious. Wonderful. For quesadillas. Actually, no, because last time I did it, it was fine. And I did that like when I got back home. And it was ready in like half an hour. It's fine. It'll be fine. As long as I do that first. So that I can do the thing. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, I did mention, I know I've mentioned before, huh? Hmm. The yawning continues today, apparently. So far. To be fair, I woke up at like... Well, no, I woke up at like 2, so it should be wearing off. It should, it should be wearing off. Maybe this is my midday crash. Maybe I need to start having coffee available for right now so that I can have like a cup of coffee in the middle of the day so I don't do this. I could probably manage that. I've been really good about not drinking a whole like crap ton of coffee. Um, I almost stopped at McDonald's on my way home to get coffee, but the line was ridiculous. So I didn't because I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to wait like half an hour in line so that I can get a caramel macchiato from McDonald's. I would maybe wait half an hour for a Starbucks one. But if I went to Starbucks, I wouldn't get a caramel macchiato either. Um, if I went to Starbucks, I'd probably get a white chocolate mocha. Mm, white chocolate mocha with almond milk. Um, my son and I both tend towards lactose sensitivity so <clears throat> we can have dairy I eat cheese I love cheese I'm from Wisconsin I love cheese but if we have like too much of it which like we we get really And to be fair, everybody gets constipated if they eat too much cheese. But for us, that bar is lower. So I try to keep myself to, like, one major dairy excursion every couple of days. Like, because I've noticed, um... Even if I do, like, one day I eat a shit ton of cheese, and then the next day we have Alfredo for dinner, and then the next day we have, like, chicken and rice with cheese sauce, and, like, a lot, because, of course, it's going to be a lot of cheese sauce. You can't not put a lot of cheese sauce on that, on, on food, right? That's just not a thing. And then I have a three cheese grilled cheese sandwich for lunch the next day. I will notice that it's getting a little touch and go, you know. You know, and for and for him, it's also just generally not a good time. So we, I try to stick to like we had Alfredo for dinner a couple days ago, so I'd probably good be good to have like an entire sleeve of cheese and crackers today. And then quesadillas for dinner today, but then I'm gonna need to wait a couple days before I have like a shit ton of dairy again. You know? Like I can munch on some cheese, but I like in between that, but I can't, I'm not gonna go to town on some cheese and crackers, right? <laughs> and now that y'all know way more than you ever wanted to about my dairy allergies that aren't even really a real allergy it's just a sensitivity um cause it's not like if it was if I was allergic I wouldn't be able to have any of that ever and it would be a miserable existence I would be very sad very very sad if that was a thing so it Whatever, I did the best I can. Um, and that started about... We, we drink almond milk in our house. 
because uh, it's easier on my stomach, it's easier on Bruce's stomach, and Keith was actually drinking it anyway because he felt that it was healthier. Um, like it, it, it has all the same nutrients as milk uh, without the lactose, and actually tends to have more of it with fewer calories. Like he, he, he just always felt that it was healthier, so he, he was drinking almond milk anyway. Uh, so we drink almond milk in our house so that when we go out and we don't have control over what dairy we use or we get, uh, I'm not gonna die. Right? And then if I have the points to use at Starbucks, uh, because with their, with their stars program, uh, you can cash stars to get free beverage upgrades. So if I have the stars, I will 100% use them at Starbucks so that uh, I can get almond milk in my beverage. Are you going up there now? Or you just going lay there? Okay. Kitty is doing stuff. Want to say hi to the kitty? He's a good kitty. His name is Squish. And he's a good boy. His brother is also a good boy. Wow. Oh, I have to redo this. Oh, okay. That was Ooh. easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, his brother is also a good boy. But he is not over here. He is over there sleeping being generally cute that part in our mess we're we're working on it we up till recently have both been working a lot on like our schedules never really cross in a positive way a lot of the time so like the only time we would have together would be like when when Keith would get home from work um, and we would sit down for dinner, maybe, together, and then I would go to bed at like one in the morning, and then he would come to bed at like four in the morning, and then I would wake up at like whenever I needed to, with, uh, either for Bruce or for work, and go and do that. And then he would wake up whenever, like at like two thirty. Um, and sometimes we, sometimes we would have time together before I had to go to work, but not very often. It was generally quite depressing for both of us because we never really got to see each other or like go and do stuff because I also like he works Monday through Friday um and then has off on the weekends but I very generally would work on the weekends um with very few exceptions and I would my my days off were always Monday and Wednesday um and that was set up because of custody stuff like that I would have the way the way custody was worked out like Wednesday was my kid my day with my kid um and Monday was let's get shit done day or was me getting shit done that I needed to do day um it generally just didn't really work out super well for everybody so when we go back to work maybe I will rethink that but that is that was also under an old custody agreement uh we kind of re are reworking it for quarantine um because we, we weren't always doing like one week with me one week one week with him um we we kind of had a weird split um to try and make it a little bit more fair um but there's a part of me that kind of hopes that we stick with week, week on, week off. Um, only because, like, it just, 
I think it would generally be easier for everybody and since we're gonna have Bruce starting up at school soon hopefully barring potty training situations like he just doesn't have an interest in it you know like he wants to go on the potty but at the same time he also doesn't really care like we've reached the point where at least for me like the his it seems like his train of thought is if I pee I can still just put on a new pair of underwear but mommy then has to clean up the, like that there's just a mess that needs to be cleaned up then and I know when I had him last I was cleaning up the mess uh, but I might start making him do it if we don't get through it because it sounds like he's have where they're having the same problem at his dad's house um, that's the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, well, we'll just make him wear it. Wait, no, that's actually a terrible choice, Sarah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. So if anybody sees this and has recommendations, um, for helping motivate him to actually use the potty and help it click in his head that sitting on the potty and going to the bathroom is what needs to happen um like that's just what we do as grown-ups um i don't know that'd be really great if anybody had any suggestions but okay so we have gone from Yay, I'm getting my kid to Smool, not working on my computer, to mentioning that I'm tired and going on a tangent about my lactose sensitivity, on to custody arrangements with my kid no onto work schedules with my boyfriend which then turned into custody stuff with my kid I apologize if uh, this is at all irritating to people this is uh as I've mentioned before, this is kind of just me word vomiting at a camera because it gives me something to do. Um, and again, I don't know that I'm going to keep doing this uh, when I have Bruce because I don't know that it's going to be functional for that or when I go back to work because I don't know that I'm going to have time. Um, but we shall see. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. And if this isn't good and I get no followers, I can't really be upset because, again, this is just giving me something to do. To pretend that I'm talking to other people. So, I think that's what I've got for today. I'm going to go ahead and do editing and post this I guess we'll see if I actually edit anything because I know in the last video I didn't even bother because I was like this is a short video and there's really no dead space for me to cut out because that's primarily what I'm worried about uh, because if I try to edit out the tangents I'm editing out the entire video because that's literally just talking to me as a series of tangents happening it's a problem <laughs> um but yeah, that's, that's what I've got today. So peace and love. I'm out.